Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy. I'm the owner of Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today is sample day. I am completely out of samples. I mean completely out. I have not one sample to put in someone's order. So I thought this would be a good opportunity since I'm, I'm kind of slow right now to go ahead and build up some samples. I have these adorable molds. I, I, got, I get these from Micah's and more. I only have the two, but they hold about 16 ounce uh, oil weight soap batch and they're about six inches long and they're like a tall and skinny mini mold. I think they're adorable. I'm, I'm going to use a lot of them for the samples. Some of them I may cut into like guest soaps or travel soaps. I might do something like that. I'm also testing fragrances today. Oh, let me put my glasses on. Hang on. And so I'm going to just do a, a simple, um, like in the pot swirl or, or just a simple design with a couple colors. And I'm doing two at a time, as you can see. So hope, hopefully you can see. So I just put my lye water in to my oils, and I'm just going to get those mixed up very light. I went light. ahead and measured off um, my fragrance oil. So the fruit, first fragrance oil I am testing is English Pear by Micah's and Moore. So I'm just going to get this stirred in by hand. And then I'm going to split off a little bit to color. So I'm leaving this uncolored. So no titanium dioxide today. And I'm just going to put a little bit in here and color it yellow. So I'm using Brambleberry's Buttercup Mica to color this yellow. And again, I'm just doing a real simple design. I want to test you know, how is the fragrance oil behaving? Does it speed up trace? Does it discolor? They're all supposed to be very um, good at soaping, but sometimes your recipe can really play a part in that. So look, I don't know if you can see that. I, I, wish, I wish I had my camera differently. That is orange. Can you see how orange that has become? It's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's a reaction with the lye. Let me get one of my molds here ready. So, we, so this is not doing too bad. I, it's thickening up, but not horribly. Um, nothing I can't handle. Uh, I can't talk and work at the same time, apparently. Um, so I'm glad I'm doing this test because this would this is telling me in a bigger batch, I may struggle with this just a little bit as far as it behaving very well. And I think I'm gonna do a hanger technique on this. I'll have to change my hanger size because these tiny little molds. I'll link this in the description box too if you're interested in these molds. I'm just doing a very, just like three or four times, that's it. But anyway, um, the fragrance oils, some of these yellows will turn a weird orange on you and then tomorrow it'll be back to yellow. It's just a reaction, like I said, with the, with the soap, the light. And I just think it's kind of interesting that that happens like that. All right, I'm gonna leave that top for a moment because I want to move on to my next one and then I'll play with the tops as it's nice. So my next fragrance I'm testing is another Micah's and more and this is True Lilac. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and stir this in. And I think it's, it's also a little like it's definitely at a medium trace right now. So I'm gonna make this a little fast, maybe a little less of that color. And I'm using Micah's and more uh, pink lemonade in this one. And I know lilac, it should probably be purple, <laughs> but I'm making a purple one tomorrow. So I didn't wanna um, have two purples in my test batches and sample batches. 
So you can kind of see, look how thick that is. Can you see that? It's, it's a little gloppy. I'm not surprised it's a floral. And I'm probably not going to do much to this other than just kind of do that. You know, I may skewer it. So let, let's do that. I haven't done it. I really have no idea. It's almost too thick for this. So hopefully I'm not causing air pockets. Try to make the tops look pretty. Not sure it's gonna happen. This is way too thick for that. So is this, but I'm gonna do this. I think this could be pretty. But I'm causing air bubbles. So let's see, let's see what this can do. guys not too bad as expected florals will become thicker fast but these really weren't supposed to so I need to kind of look at my recipe and see if that's causing an issue or if it's the fragrance oil is causing the issue but really florals are pretty much standard they're gonna make your batter pretty thick pretty quickly so anyway I'm gonna see pop these uh, we'll get them cut up tomorrow and then we'll make the next two sample soaps tomorrow and then I'll when we come back I'll have the camera more of a top-down view so you can really see what I'm doing so see you guys in a bit okay it's the next day and I have my two batches ready to go and my two light waters here so I'm just gonna do these one at a time this time <laughs> I I may have uh been a little speedy yesterday, not knowing how those fragrance oils were going to react to the, you know, to the soap batter. So I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. So this first one I'm doing is the Flaming Candle, Black Amber and Lavender. I really, really like it. It's, it's got a very, it's kind of floral, obviously, with the lavender, but it's got a spicy note. It's it's really interesting. So with that one, um, I'm going, well, let's just, yeah. okay. So I'm going to pour off just a little bit here. Maybe just a little bit less than I did yesterday, too. I want more white. Okay. Maybe a little bit more than that. <laughs> and I had a sample from Nurture Soap called Jam Session. So I'm going to give that one a try. actually kind of too loose to pour so I'm just going to set it aside and get started on my other one back to these and it is thickening up it's I'm glad I went back to this because it's it's at this point getting thick to where I need to get it in the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. a lot. I 
have a hard time working with really big batches or really small batches, it seems like. And where was my, there it is. I'm gonna add my fragrance oil in. And this is from Make Your Own. I think it was like a free sample I got for my purchase because I've never really bought fragrance oils from them before. Wild Sage and Aloe. It's a bath and body work type. So it's really nice. Um, so for this color, I'm going. I used a little bit of apple green from uh, Micah Zamora, and I added just a little bit of black to it just to kind of tone down that bright green. I'm trying really hard not to buy colorants that are unnecessary this year. And fragrances actually, but that's the hardest part. So I don't know if you can see, I did, it did tone it down just a little bit. Still pretty loose so I'm gonna give it just a few minutes before I, I may just do an in the pot swirl in this one but I want it to thicken up a little bit first so I'm just gonna sit here and stir it clean this one up maybe a little bit and then um, I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do the in pot in the pot okay swirl. we're at a light trace um, barely we're barely at a light trace but I need to get upstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my in the pot swirl. Just different heights. Some of that for the top maybe here we go I'm not going to stir it it's too small of a container to mess with that it's very loose look at how loose that is goodness so this is a good fragrance if you're wanting to make designs this is going to be a good one because it it is not speeding up it may be even slowing down a little bit the trace I'm gonna go ahead and put these upstairs. I'm gonna carefully carry them up to the oven and get them see popping. Um, and then we'll come back tomorrow and cut all four up. Samples are all cut and ready to go. They've been sitting here for a couple days just to kind of mellow out. So I thought I'd just give you a quick final thought on them. First up was English Pear. And this one, I'm, I'm really liking. It's a very kind of a soft uh, pear floral, but fruity floral. I really like fruity florals, to be honest. Um, I really like it, but it's a pretty soft scent. Uh, so it's not going to like give you a headache in the shower or anything, but it's also not going to be, you know, maybe strong enough for some people. Um, so that one's an iffy one. It'll, it might make a really nice lotion or a cream. So I'll keep that on mind. I did notice that I'm having, I don't know if you can see, spots. Can you see that spot right there? Um, all throughout the bars. Here's one that has a bit more spotting. And I think the fragrance oil just needs to be blended really, really well. It's the only thing I can think of is the fragrance oil just didn't get blended well. So I may, if I make soap with this, I'll have to put it in the oils before I add my lye water maybe. But other than that, I like it. And then let's see, what was next? I think it was True Lilac. Uh, you can't even see the bottle, sorry. I might as well give that up. <laughs> um, I thought this turned out really pretty. 
and much stronger scent. I mean, you're gonna get the lilac. If you like lilac, you're gonna smell it. <laughs> I really like it though. I really like it. It's, it's um, this is a keeper. Uh, some people really, really like lilac. Um, I had a friend's granddaughter in here. I think she was like six, that she wanted to make lilac soap. <laughs> It's like, okay. <laughs> um, but I really like it. And I thought the design was pretty. I think if I remember, it's been, it's probably been a week and a half, two weeks since I've made these. I think it was pretty thick. So I'll have to look at my notes again. Um, but that's true lilac. And then we made a uh, wild sage and aloe, which is a bath and body work type. This was the one that was very fluid the whole, whole time. And it's a very soft color. And it's a really clean, nice scent. It's not like super clean in your face clean because it's got a real softness to it. It's very pleasant. I really like this. I, I don't really go into Bath and Body Works. I need to just go and take notes and smell everything because I don't know what these originally smell like. Um, that It usually gives me a headache to walk into those stores, Yankee or Bath and Body Works. I get a headache within like three minutes. Uh, but this is really nice. It's very... It's very uh, comforting, clean, but not over the top clean. I like it a lot. And lastly, we had black amber and lavender. This one is maybe my favorite, although it did discolor a lot. Um, so you can kind of, and it's also very splotchy. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna make soap with this. I'm for sure making soap with this. Uh, I'm just not sure how I'm gonna do the design. I haven't decided that yet but it's a peppery lavender. It's just so odd. I would not have put like this pepper. I keep saying pepper, but it, that to me, it smells peppery. And lavender is just such a unique, fun, different scent. I'm loving this. I'm gonna have to figure out my design because it it's all of that is not color. I mean, that's just the fragrance. And then you can kind of see where I've tried to do purple. I may try to lighten it with a little titanium dioxide throughout the whole batter. And like I said, I made pipe on top with no scent just to give it some, some pretty color to it. But the scent is worth it. It's worth figuring out a design because it's really, really neat. It's just neat. Okay, guys, enough of that. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.